What we're going to look at now is um, a problem where you're asked to calculate the actual set rate and drift of current that the vessel experiences over a set period of time. So let's have a look at typically information you're given and how we go about sorting this out. We're told here that we have a vessel in position A, which is here on the chart, and that we wish, we wish to get to position B. We're told our speed is 12 knots, and we're told that the current is believed to be setting 060 at 3 knots. Southerly wind causing 10 degrees leeway. First of all, calculate the course to steer to counteract the current and the leeway. So, we've already started plotting this. We've drawn our line from A to B, and that has two arrows, because that is the course that we wish to make good. At position A, at 10 o'clock, we have allowed our current 060 at 3 knots. We then got the vessel speed of 12 knots and then we placed our compass on the end of the current, scored our course line and then that gave us our speed and also when we joined up the vector triangle from the end of the course line the end of the, the course line to the end of the current, that gave us the course of which, of which we would steer, if you like, the water track that the helmsman would steer so that we would go along the course line. So the helmsman is steering this course but we're actually going along this line. We're then told we had 10 degrees southerly wind, so the wind was pushing up from the south. Now when we counteract we steer into the wind. So then we had to alter our course a further 10 degrees to make sure that we actually steered along the course line that we wanted to go along. So originally we had a course of 142, so I'll just write this here, 142 degrees. Then we had the 10 degrees leeway, so it meant that the vessel, the ship's head, if you like, was 152 but the water track is the 142. So although our vessel is pointing towards 152, the actual water track through the water will be this 142 because we've counteracted the leeway. Now, it then tells us at 11.30 hours, so that's an hour and a half after 10 o'clock, the channel light vessel was spotted bearing 135 at 11.2 miles. So let's plot that. The channel light vessel, which is down here, this is the channel light vessel, was spotted bearing 135 at 11.2 miles. So we'll plot that there. So that there will be our actual fix at 11.30. So we've got a fix at 11.30 hours that we can see here. So we want to calculate the actual, the actual set rate and drift. So we can say that from position A, from position A, our vessel is water track this water track here, we set off from position A on that water track, down there. So what we've done, we've simply run the water track down. The leeway will apply whichever the current is. So we don't worry about the leeway in this situation, we're just transferring our water track and not the ship's head. So. We've moved the water track from position A, which is obviously where we set off from, and it's for one and a half hours, and we know our speed is 12 knots. So we need to plot for 18 miles, which is one and a half hours at 12 knots. So if we plot that there, then that's going to be our C position at 11.30 hours, an hour and a half later. Had there been no current whatsoever, that's where we would be. But this is our position here at 
So therefore, our, the current we've experienced must be running this C position up to our fix. So that there must be the actual current that we've experienced because had there been no current, we'd be here. But we're actually here, so the current has pushed us up there. You always run it from the C position to your fix. So we can say, if we measure that, that the set of the current is 019. So the current is set 019 degrees. So I've written that here, the set is 019. That's the direction the current has set us. <coughs> Let's calculate the drift. Now the drift is the total distance that the, that the current has made you drift or has, has set you. 1, 2, 3, 3.4 miles. So the drift, 3.4, which represents the whole the total distance you've been moved in one and a half hours. So if we want the rate, we need to divide the drift of 3.4 by 1.5, which is one and a half hours. And that will give us a rate of 2.3 knots. So the current is setting us 019 at a rate of 2.3 knots and in the one and a half hours it's actually drifted us 3.4 miles. So just to quickly recap we must draw our water track from A which is where we are for one and a half hours. Mark our C position and then run from the C position to where your actual fix is at 1130 and that represents the actual set, rate and drift of the current that your vessel has experienced.